Hello once again and welcome to Johnny Dell's Football Academy, the channel that is trying to answer the whys and hows of the game. As we've been doing and will continue to do throughout the year, we're going to take a look back at the previous week's game and see why the game went the way it did. This week we're looking at the Week 6 game against the Los Angeles Rams, last year's conference champions. It was an impressive win as we were able to hold Los Angeles until 3.5 minutes left in the game to only 21 total passing yards. How did the defense do it? We'll take a look. How did the offense manage to stay on the field for so many lengthy drives? We'll take a look at that too. Alright y'all, let's dive right in. So we'll start out looking at the run game, especially the opening run, how the Rams were able to drive right down the field and put it in with just run after run after run and see what how it was that they were able to do this and what Robert Sala did to counter this and make adjustments after this drive. So we're going to first look at what were the Rams doing formationally to help their run game. So first thing I want to do is look at the splits between the tackle and the guard here. This is really wide for any offense, especially on the left side and the right side as well. But you're going to see these guys are split really far wide from each other. Now to help illustrate that, it will actually help to go and look at what the Rams were doing against the Seahawks the week before. So this is the week before, and now look at the splits between the guard and the tackle, especially look at their feet. This is, you can really see that's a much shorter split than they showed versus us the next week. So this was a new wrinkle that Los Angeles put in. I had watched this game against the Seahawks from the week before, last week before the game, and so when I turned on the film this week, this was something I noticed right away, that these tackles were split much wider. And so we'll jump back to ours and look at why. Why that is so with ours the reason why is because we we run this wide nine and so what they're trying to do is further push our edge defenders out and what they're trying to do then is help create a lane right through here they're going to be looking to attack the C gap and so by widening the edge defenders they're going to be leaving these linebackers or safety on the strong side on more open space they're going to have to cover a wider area if they can widen these gaps and so that's why they're doing this so let's take a look at the play and see how that happens so if we clear everything off what we're going to see here is that los angeles is going to do something that we do a lot and they're going to try and sell a run to the strong side if you remember matt Breida's touchdown that i broke down last week we did something very similar to this they sell a run to the strong side and then they're going to end up bringing a defender across the formation to get a kick out block on the M loss and so they're trying to get the entire defense to flow strong side and by doing this they're able to wall down on our one technique wash him out they're going to bring some uh, motion back with Goff over here and by kicking out the M loss they're going to open up a big wide lane here. Now, that's going to put Fred Warner really on an island. We also have some confusion here between Bosa and Kwan Williams about who has outside contain. So let's jump to the film and see that. So here we're at the film. We're going to see the Rams. They motion a player across. They fake the run. They, they make it look strong side, and you're going to see here, again, because they're selling this strong side, DJ Jones here is going to try and fight across the face of the guard, and the tackle is just going to help wash him down. Here's the blocker coming back across the formation. Now, one thing I want to talk about right here, watch the launch angle of Nick Bosa. He's going to go upfield again because he's outside contained, so he his first steps are are upfield. He takes two steps upfield and then he starts running shallow. And here both Kwan Williams and Bosa get confused about who's going to be taking on this blocker as he comes across and he's able to take on both of them. And like I said, now you have Fred Warner on an island in a very big lane through what is the C gap. And that's that's just easy for a running back to set up the block. He's able to to end up making a little bit of a cut finishes his run, and they get a good chunk yard here. Again, they've widened our defensive end, washed the one technique down, and really widened the C-gap, so now they're able to cut back against that. So let's jump to another play, right? the play right after this, and we'll see the same thing. 
So the next play, you're going to see similar thing. They're going to run the same play here. All they do is bring another wide receiver over. And again, the idea is they're stretching our lines as far left and right as they can. Notice again, the really wide split by this tackle. He's trying to widen Nick Bosa. And they're just going to run the same thing. They're just going to bring another player across. They're going to bring some different window dressing in the back. But it's pretty much the same play. So here you're going to see again, DJ Jones is looking to attack strong side not and cross the face of the defender the tackle is coming down we have a blocker coming across the face this time it's going to be Quan Alexander is out here instead of K1 Williams he also gets confused about who's got outside contain the blocker is able to come down on Nick Bosa and here it is again a back cut through the weak side C gap once again as they're able to wash down every defender and now they get a bit another big chunk run. Again, these are back-to-back -back plays. So this is twice. And every big run they had, they were doing the same thing. They were widening, widening a defensive end and kicking him out while washing down inside. So now let's take a look at what we did the next drive to adjust to this. So like I said, this is the very first play of the next drive in the game. And let's see what we did to adjust. So one thing to note, we're going to have some different personnel in here. We have Buckner playing the one technique and Solomon Thomas now playing the three technique. So one thing we did, again, talking about they were attacking the C-gaps, we're going to then look to aggressively contain the C-gaps, being a gap here and a gap out here or here, um, really B and C-gaps. So what we're going to do is instead of allowing our defensive linemen to flow, we're going to slant our defensive line. So we're going to bring bring Buckner over into the B gap. We're going to bring Solomon Thomas over into the A gap. And we're going to bring Armstead over into the C gap with Tart filling the outside over here. And Quan Alexander is going to be filling this direction. Uh, Fred Warner will fill here. And then Nick Bosa is going to aggressively attack down the line. And we're going to look to have contain from K1 Williams. By doing these, these slants and adjustments, it's going to help then uh, compact and condense the line and the area that the Rams are trying to attack. So as we jump back to the film here, you're going to see at the snap, you see both Buckner and Thomas and AA attack inside. They're they're not going to be looking to flow play side like they have been. We have more established run fits here. So Thomas is going to split this double team and Buckner no longer is taking on the guard. So this this guard, if you look, he's he was expecting to be fighting Buckner across and he's going to get up to the second level and be a little confused as to who he is to block. And then now look at Nick Bosa's attack point he's not attacking upfield like he was he's coming down the line again looking to compress that line of scrimmage and compress the end here so remember what we saw they're they're running the same thing they're trying to bring a, a blocker back across and really they're going to try and run a jab and counter but we're going to get so much disruption up here that they can't do it so here you see AA stands his guy up Tart is ready to take outside contain like I said here's Quan Alexander's ready to fill Fred Warner's ready to fill Bosa is compacting the end of the line K1 Williams is ready for outside contain so they're not bottled up over here like they were way outside and leaving Fred Warner on an island they're bringing everything in so you see Buckner does a good job of first attacking the tackle and then driving him down the line here's the blocker looking to come across and kick out Bosa but by the time he gets there it's so much more compacted he has nowhere to go and Solomon Thomas is doing a great job here he's filling and he's taking on his guy and he's going to disrupt this play and end up causing the running back to who can't then cut back like he wants to. If you see here, he's wanting to cut back, and he doesn't like what he sees. You have Fred Warner's ready to attack into this hole. Bosa's compacting it. We got outside contained. This looks really good, and so he tries to bounce it out strong side where he goes into Tart and uh, Eric Armstead. So, um, so this is, is exactly how you draw it up then afterwards and how you make adjustments. So this is what we ended up doing pretty much the rest of the game. And other than a couple chunk plays, it really did contain the Rams running game. They weren't able to do anything like they were the first drive after this. So this is where I really like what Robert Sala did 
in adjusting to what the, how the Rams were trying to attack us. And as, again, if you see here, Nick Bosa much more quick on his compaction at the end. Again, that's them getting on the sidelines and saying we need to change the attack points and really look at what they're doing. I like the in-game adjustment and especially the speed of it. Well, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more episodes today and throughout the week. Looking back at the win over the Los Angeles Rams and go Niners.